Hi everyone. Welcome to Wednesday's Word. Today is May 6th. Happy Mother's Day to all of our mothers this Sunday. Antonio Crispin, Ron Berryman, Hannah Atkins, and Jackson Pebbler are celebrating birthdays. Happy birthday to all of you. Thank you for your generous donation to Tri-County Ministries last Saturday. We will continue with our 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. donation time on Saturdays until we're back again for Sunday Mass. Thank you, too, for your loving emails and cards of support. We are definitely in this together. As I talk to each household, I'm hearing two recurring themes. First, I can't wait until I get back to normal. And now that our family has lived this way for a while, I don't want to ever go back to the way we used to live. No matter how you feel, there is no going back. The past is past, and the grace of this time is already propelling us into a new direction as we hold on to love. You have all become less and less of who you were and become more and more of the new possibility of yourself. As you are beginning to bond with your new life and let go of the parts of your life that just don't fit anymore, these days have led you to become more patient, more generous, to be kinder and more intentional about your relationships, especially with your family. One parishioner shared with me that her grandchild made the comment at the dinner table that she really enjoys her family mealtime now. The usual sibling rivalry and bickering has been replaced with genuine conversation and laughter, storytelling and joy. All of us, from the youngest to the oldest, are learning to live differently. These times of difficulty and, and struggle are becoming our best teachers. These past eight weeks have given us new insights and taught us a whole new litany of appreciation. As we continue to learn and live God's word, we continue to hold on to love. I've learned to appreciate the medical personnel of our area and of the world who continue to put their lives at risk for all of us. And how about the delivery folks, the trash collectors, the people who serve in our food banks and who staff our shelters for the homeless? Have you gained a greater appreciation for all who work and all who struggle to work? Think about all the people who make this time of struggle less of a struggle for all of us. Appreciation for all the parents who have assumed the roles of full-time educators in their homes. And thanks to all the teachers who have gone above and beyond to help their students at this time. I greatly appreciate the parishioners of St. Stephen, who donated last Saturday 168 pounds to Tri-County Ministries and to all the parishioners who continue to donate food cards and gift cards for those who are being crushed by unemployment and who have no source of income. I'm deeply grateful for your generosity. Every day you have more and more ways to give love as you hold on to love. You are more patient and compassion, compassionate You are learning to be more forgiving and empathetic. You are learning to understand. Your desire to communicate honestly needs to be companioned with your general generous desire to listen to those who try to speak with you and to stay in the struggle to live on in love with those who love you. It is so important to listen and not only to listen to those around you, but to listen to the heartbeat of your dear neighbors throughout the world who suffer and struggle with you. As always, 
this coming Sunday's word of God speaks to us right to where we are, just as we are. In these days of uncertainty and troubles, illness and crushing unemployment, these are certainly unchartered days when the troubles of the past don't line up with what we're experiencing now. All the more reason to hold on to love with all your heart. Jesus knows how relentless and challenging these days are for you. So the weight of his words pierce our hearts even more deeply, knowing that he spoke these words the night before he died, his death on the cross. He says to us, do not let your hearts be troubled. Have faith in God and have faith in me. So he who is our way, our truth, and our life understands your troubles and reminds you to hold on to love and to know that love is holding on to you. So hold on to love. Hold on to the gospel way, the truth of Christ's teachings. Celebrate the gift of your faith and the gift of life in God, even with a deeper sense of gratitude today. Appreciate the little miracles of each day and appreciate the little resurrections of each day. And no matter what, hold on to love and know that love is holding on to you.